This is why you might see some people that might not feel as mature or experienced as their own peers, because there has been an absence of life experience both on the inside and the outside. If you want to be mature socially, you don't want to miss out on these tips. The reason being, there has been so much misunderstandings around maturity. Well, I think it's very boastful for pretty much anyone to say that I am very mature. But if we don't learn what maturity is, then we'll lose out on a lot of social opportunities. So here I want to share with you one pivotal factor that I learned from my personal experience and through observing about maturity. But here's the thing: maturity is messy. On the outside, people see this amazing put together guy that's really mature and confident. But no one really sees the hidden inner work that is required to overcome the pains and the struggle in order to become mature. And if you also do the inner work, you will accelerate the maturation process as well. And now let me give you the specific factor that is hard for everyone. That's right, there are no exceptions, and that is forgiveness. So think with me right now of a person that you just really want to slap. Honestly, it's not that hard for me, but it hurts, right? Can you feel the bitterness, anger, sadness? Forgiveness is really tough because you can only do this when someone has really hurt you, and you know that heart-wrenching, conflicting emotion that's inside of you. Maturity is not letting those emotions take over. The fact is, when we're wronged, we want to be angry because it's unfair. We want the other side to feel the same or even more pain than we did, but maturity is not letting those emotions take over and change you as a person. Because in the short run, revenge feels good, but in the long run, we're actually training ourselves to lose control over our anger, anxiety, bitterness, sadness, and just letting these emotions take over. Anger leads to destruction, sadness to depression, anxiety to paralysis. In short, we won't even feel like ourselves anymore. And yet,、yeah, this is also the same reason why some people aren't overly thinking about everything, not overly anxious or sensitive about talking to other people, even though they might feel the same feelings of bitterness or anger. They don't lose control. Something else that's often missed is that. You can't rush forgiveness. Trying to forgive someone before you're ready—that's really just lying to yourself. And no maturity or growth will come from something like that. It's better to face it and gradually work through it, and making sure you're actually forgiving the person. However, there is another downside. If you don't work through the struggle, it will trap you there until you face it. This is why you might see some people that might not feel as mature or experienced as their own peers, because there has been an absence of life experience both on the inside and the outside, and maybe there is that inner barrier inside that's trapping them from moving forward. To grow, you really have to let the pain mature you, and that's forgiveness, something that no one wants to do, but it makes you more mature. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time.